Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to discuss second degree heart block type 1, also known as Mobitz type 1 or Wenckebach. This is a common condition that affects the heart's electrical conduction system, leading to an irregular heartbeat. In this video, we'll be analyzing EKG recordings to help you better understand this condition. Mobitz type 1, also known as Wenckebach, is a type of second-degree atrioventricular AV block that is characterized by a gradual lengthening of the PR interval on an electrocardiogram until a beat is dropped. During normal cardiac conduction, the electrical impulses travel from the sinoatrial node to the atrioventricular node and then to the ventricles. In Mobitz type 1, the electrical impulses are delayed or blocked at the diseased AV node, resulting in a progressively longer PR interval on the ECG. Eventually, the electrical impulse is blocked entirely, leading to a dropped beat. The cycle is then repeated. Mobitz type 1 is typically benign and doesn't usually require treatment. However, it can be an indicator of underlying heart conditions, such as coronary artery disease or myocardial infarction. It can also be caused by digitalis toxicity, beta blockers, quinidine, and procainamide. There are usually no symptoms in Mobitz type 1, but if they do, they may include dizziness, lightheadedness, or fainting. If the patient develops symptomatic bradycardia, intervention may include atropine or even a temporary pacemaker. Being a student in healthcare can be tough. You have to juggle classes, exams, and assignments all while trying to maintain a social life. That's why we recommend Amazon Prime Student. With Amazon Prime Student, you get all the benefits of Amazon Prime, plus exclusive deals and discounts just for students. Order your textbooks and supplies with free one-day delivery. No need to worry about the high cost of textbooks anymore. Stream your favorite movies and TV shows, including Amazon Originals, with unlimited streaming. Listen to millions of songs on Amazon Music with no ads and unlimited skips. Get food delivered straight to your door with Grubhub for free. No need to waste time in long lines at your favorite restaurant. With Amazon Prime Student, through a partnership with Student Universe, you can get a 10% discount on flights and hotels to your favorite spring break getaway. And with Amazon Prime Student, you'll never miss a delivery. Get free one-day or same-day delivery on eligible items. Join Amazon Prime Student today and make your student life easier. Click on the link in the description below. To better understand this, let's take a look at a sample EKG reading by performing the steps of EKG analysis. Step 1. Determine the regularity of the rhythm. The atrial rhythm will be regular since there's nothing wrong with the atrial conduction system. The ventricular rhythm however will be irregular as seen in this EKG strip, with the r to r intervals having inconsistent lengths. Step 2. Determine the heart rate. The atrial rate is always greater than the ventricular rate in Mobitz type 1. In this 6-second EKG strip, we can count 10 P waves. Then multiply that by 10 and we get 100 beats per minute as the atrial rate. There are 7 QRS complexes, multiply that by 10, giving us a ventricular rate of 70 beats per minute. Both rates are usually within normal limits, meaning 60 to 100 beats per minute. Step 3, Identify and Characterize the P Waves The P waves are all normal in morphology, being upright and all have the same appearance. Step 4, Measure the PR Interval Measure the PR Interval In Mobitz Type 1 Wenckebach, the main hallmark is having a PR interval that is progressively getting longer until a non-conducted heartbeat appears as a P wave that is not followed by a QRS complex. Step 5. Measure the QRS complex. The QRS complex duration is usually normal, measuring less than 0.12 seconds. In conclusion, second-degree heart block type 1 is a common condition that affects the heart's electrical conduction system, leading to an irregular heartbeat. EKG analysis is an important tool for diagnosing and monitoring this condition. While second-degree heart block type 1 is usually a benign condition, it's important to do further workup with the manifestation of significant symptoms. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button, so you can get the latest EKG analysis videos.